Hey there hobby homesteaders, welcome back to Peaks Peak. Today, I'm excited because I got a new backpack sprayer. Alright guys, so I'll tell you, when I first moved to my homestead, of course, you know, you've got certain areas that you need to have some weed control, especially a gravel driveway and things like that, and so you need to be able to spray some weeds. And when I first moved in here, of course, you know, I live life on a little bit of a budget, so I had to start small. Bought me a little one and a half gallon uh, little hand pump garden sprayer there and it got me by but it was a lot of extra work and trips back and forth to refill a little bit cumbersome to work with so i've been kind of keeping an eye out and i've thought about getting an atv sprayer but i don't have large areas to spray i have some fence rows and areas where actually i couldn't even get the four-wheeler to all of it so i need to be able to walk and spray and i've seen these backpack sprayers but they were a little bit out of my price range for a while and I finally saw the other day Rural King had them on sale for about 30 bucks. So I got this four gallon backpack sprayer here. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. this thing out of the box and putting it together there's nothing to it you just choose which side you want your hand pump on you can either have your pump on the left side or the right side depending on how you want to hold your sprayer and it just has a hairpin clip to clip that on there and then you screw the wand onto the handle and you're ready to start spraying so simple as that and we are going to get it to work i chose to pump with my left hand because i figure i'll spray with my right hand we'll see how that goes i may end up switching it after i try it out for a little bit but uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a shot. I'm gonna start on the driveway here because I've got a lot of grass growing in the middle of the driveway. So we are going to treat that with some glyphosate, see if we can't knock this out. Just give her a few pumps, put some pressure on it, and away we go. So I gotta tell you, my first impression is this is way better than my little jug that I would carry around and stop and pump up and then spray a little more and stop and pump up again. You just basically one, two, three pumps or so, you feel it get stiff and you're good to spray. Now you probably pump a little more often as you're walking around, but it's very simple to use. So yeah, this is gonna be great to use around the farm here for sure. sprayed eight gallons pumping with my left hand and it's getting tired so I just move the handle over to the other side and I'm gonna spray the last four gallons with my right hand pumping so far so good I definitely would not have went through eight gallons with the other sprayer because I would have given up already but I have a lot of electric fences that I want to get the weeds killed down on this should be the last time for the year so getting taken care of
All right, guys, well, we sprayed 12 gallons and I feel pretty good. Made it a whole lot easier to tackle everything that I needed to tackle all in one evening. A lot of times what I would do is I would come out and I would spray maybe, you know, around the house and the driveway. The next night I would do the fence rows and the next night I'd do the trails or something like that. But with this backpack sprayer, I can do it all at once and I'm not too wore out. It's always a pretty good workup going up that trail though because the hill's really steep. So carrying 30 pounds worth of uh, insecticide on your back and pumping a sprayer is a pretty good workout. But uh, yeah, I'm happy to have the thing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all have a good day.